Wild blueberries are the number one antioxidant fruit, delivering more antioxidants than 20 different fruits and berries, including cultivated fresh blueberries from the produce aisle. February is Heart Disease Awareness Month, and wild blueberries can be a delicious part of your heart-healthy diet. Today, we're visiting Casa Nona Restaurant, where Chef Julie Elkind will be preparing some delicious recipes using Wyman's Wild Blueberries. Hi, I'm Executive Pastry Chef Julie Elkind for Eastward Hospitality, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a heart-healthy blueberry parfait using Wyman's Fresh Frozen Wild Blueberries. So the first thing we're making is a blueberry curd. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is adding my wet ingredient into the pot, starting with my Wyman's blueberries that I've pureed. So I'm going to add this into the pot with no heat yet. And I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to add my whole eggs in. I'm going to add my lemon juice and my sugar. The rest of the ingredients are going to be incorporated in after we get this settled. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my stove on to medium heat. And I personally like to use a whisk. It just gets everything smoother and incorporates a little bit of air. And we're going to get a really nice product at the end. So I'm going to start whisking it so that everything is incorporated together in the pot. And what we're making is a curd, so we want to make sure that it gets nice and thick. And we're going to get to the point where it's thick enough to coat a spoon. So this is where the time-consuming part begins. So we just want to constantly whisk. So now my curd is up to a thick custard. So like I said, we wanted it to coat the back of a spoon. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by how thick we want this to go. So it's just a household stoop spoon we can use. So you see the back of the spoon, I'm going to use my finger to show you. It's enough where you're separating it and it's not going to fold back over and you get a really nice little canal going down the back of your spoon. This is where we want to be. So we can turn our heat off. So the next step that I want to do is add the gelatin. And the gelatin is my little secret because it's no added calories. It adds a really nice shine to your curd and it, it helps uh, stabilize it. So if you want to put it in a glass or a bowl or however you want to use this dessert, it's really nice and adds a stabilization without adding any unnecessary health hazards. So I want to add this while I'm hot and I blew my gelatin in ice water. So I'm going to add my two sheets of gelatin. I'm just going to whisk it in so that it incorporates. And this melts almost instantaneously once it hits the heat, but I just want to make sure that it's nice and incorporate it into my curd. So I've cubed my unsalted butter so we don't add any extra sodium to our recipe. And I'm going to slowly add in my little cubes of butter, which are going to incorporate into the curd. I'm just going to use a stainless steel mixing bowl, but you can use any glass, um, whatever bowl you have uh, in your house. And I just want to pour my curd into the mixing bowl and set my pot aside. Now something I like to do uh, that lightens it up a little, it makes it a little more fresh, um, this is something you can do in the morning too, so it doesn't necessarily have to be used for dessert, is I like to fold creme fraiche into it. Um, something else you can use is sour cream or fat-free sour cream if you want to cut down on any of the calories um, and fat. This also helps it set, so when it comes time to fill our glass or our bowl with the parfait, this is um, helping it solidify so it looks like a really nice uh, custard that we want. So this is the glass that I'm choosing to use because you can see if you have the curd in it and you have your fresh blueberries and you have everything in it that's really nice, you can see your layers and just it's very aesthetically pleasing. So if you have guests that are over, this could be really nice too. So what I want to do is I'm going to pour some into a measuring cup so I can actually gauge how much I'm going to be putting in here. And I'm going to put about a cup and a half of the curd just specifically for this glass. So I've poured about a cup and a half of my uh, wild blueberry curd uh, into this pouring um, unit, which is actually really nice. It has a spout. You can actually make a really clean entrance into your glass. So what I'm going to do 
So once it's set, I'm going to want to add on some more of the wild blueberries, and I can add a nice um, sugar-free whipped cream on it, and we can add some nice layers and, and really add a lot of antioxidants through our blueberries through this too. So we're going to wait an hour to let it set, and then we're going to stack our parfait. So now we've waited an hour and our parfait is finally set with our wild blueberry curd. So what we're going to do now is stack it. So these are things I personally like to add. Um, I'm going to add some of the uh, Wyman's fresh frozen blueberries that I've actually brought up to temperature. I'm just going to sit them on top. There's nothing added to these because they're sweet enough as they are and it's very fresh so that's how we want to keep it. Um, something else that's really nice is I've done a light whipping cream and I've added stevia to it. So we're cutting the sugars down and we're just doing a nice light whipped cream which we can just add a little dollop of on top which, which really adds a nice color contrast too. So maybe we'll do two little dollops on top of our parfait. So you start seeing the color separation. We'll do one more layer of blueberries. And then something else I made is just a sugar-free blueberry sauce. So all I'm doing is taking some of the wild blueberries and putting them in a pot with a little bit of your um, sweetener. So I personally use stevia. Um, I think it's really nice, it cuts your calories. And a little bit of water, and I'm cooking it down because these blueberries are so nice, they have a natural pectin in them that cooks. So you get this beautiful, shiny sauce, um, which is really great for this situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just add a spoonful on top. Here we have our completed project, which is our wild blueberry parfait. Enjoy. Wyman's of Maine is a family business committed to sustainable growing practices. Their fresh frozen wild blueberries come in resealable bags, so you can keep the number one antioxidant fruit in your freezer year round. For further info, visit www.wyman's.com.